George, I think maybe right from the beginning, we should try to start uh, encouraging young people, right, maybe at primary school level and even secondary school level to start enjoying planting trees. Don't make it like a subject. I would love a situation whereby in a school, if you are the best performing student, maybe number, number one in that class, in that particular term, a tree is planted in your honor by the school itself. Yeah? And that tree is nurtured so that throughout your schooling, in that particular school, you know that this tree represents my performance. And as you grow up, you will appreciate the importance of trees, of tree planting. But I think we want to introduce the issue of environmental conservation at a very mature age. And even the Swahili saying, the, the Swahili saying goes, Mutim Kunja Mungali Bichi, isn't it? So let's try and develop this interest right at that age. But may, maybe, uh, Francis, you may want to come in quickly and I'll ask, ask uh, Mwizi to do the same. Uh, is now beyond uh, Kukunja Mtik. Uh, how do you uh, ensure that you pick stories, because you're the media people, pick such stories so that they resonate and they interest uh, uh, the young people? Maybe just uh, quickly and then uh, uh, Bernard, uh, Mwizi picks from, uh, from that. Yeah, I'm, I'm muted, sorry. I always believe that uh, all stories, especially in subjects, and I will use boring in inverted commas here, yeah, they are not boring, but they're perceived as boring, should have a human face. They should not be abstract. People want to read, uh, watch or listen, issues that immediately affect them. If I read about the river that passes in my rural village, I think I will be more keen to find out what this is all about and River Omo. The person in my village does not care about River Omo. He is more concerned about that little stream that they go and bath, that they go and take the animals to, to drink water. So let's say, make stories more localized and what is happening in our communities. Let's make it simple. Science already has enough jargons, so we have to break this down in very simple terms. And as Mwinzi said, when you start writing about biodiversity and uh, carbon, carbon trade and all that, the person in Mao forest just wants to know what is the correlationship between Mao and me as an individual. So let's localize stories, break them down and make them simple.